In this video, I am going to explain microcontroller lab, IPCC lab of computer science branch. The experiments are this. So, first I am going to explain develop assembly language program to multiply two 16 bit number. Uh, this I am going to explain for RM2148 microcontroller. So, I am using a Keel 4 for this uh, demo. Uh, Keel 4 is actually not available for download now. You have to use the old uh, version of Keel 4. So, if you have, if you want to download the old version, I'll share the link in the description of my YouTube channel. You can download, see the description of this video and you can download Keel 4 and you can practice at your home. So, I'm opening the tool. So, the Keel 4 is, uh, the icon is this. So, if you double click on this, it will open Keel 4, Microvision 4. So, here I am going to explain how to create a project and all. So, any pro old project it is going to open, you have to close the project. So, after you have to open, click and click new Microvision project. Since I am doing uh, LPC 2148 microcontroller. So, I am going to select, uh, you, have, you can create one folder uh, in your folder, any folder, okay. I, like I created here LPC 2148. So, like that, you also you can create or you can create one folder by your name or something and you create project 1, this project 1 or uh, project 2 or any name you can give. Just give the project name, automatically it will save with extension dot uh, uv proj, okay, uv proj, uv means micro vision, micro u is taken, okay, for micro u is the symbol, so uv means micro vision project. So, if I save here, it will ask for overlap, so I will like press yes, or you can give one more new, if already the project is existing, so I can create one more project. You can give any suitable name for this. For example, I am giving project 1 only. So, I already created, it will ask for uh, override. I will click OK. Then you have to select uh, device for target. So, we are using, we are showing demo for LPC 2148. Select LPC 2148. If you are doing LPC 1768, you can select that can select this also. So, for CS students, uh, see, uh, LPC 2148 is actually there in the whole syllabus. So, I am showing the demo for LPC 2148. You can see the description. It is a RM70D uh, MIS based high performance 32 bit risk microcontroller with a 512 kilobytes on chip flash ROM. So, you can see the description, full description you can go through. Click OK. It will ask for copy startup dot uh, file for this project. We are doing assembly language. So, uh, you can click no for this. So, if you see the project window, this is a project window. So, you, there is a plus button, you can click here. And in the source group, nothing is there. So, we can create, so I click uh, new item to the source group. And uh, we are doing assembly language, so select a ASM file and we are doing multiplication program. So, you can take multiply 16 bit dot s automatically it will take. Okay. Uh, these now you can you have to type the program. So, I already have the program. I will just copy this program. You have to type first time, you have to type. Okay, once you save, it will be there. I am copying the file now. First, you can write comment by writing semicolon. So, it is an ALP to multiply 
216 bit numbers okay, by putting semicolon you can write a line and comment comment is option if you want you can write otherwise no need so next area you have to declare it is a multiplication program it is a you can give name of the area as mult or mult that is a it's a multiplication or again mult uh, it's a code area and it's a read only memory and you have to write label as entry in lpc 1768 we have different uh, procedure so in uh, lpc 2148 just you have to give the label as ent r1 so next you have to write move or not with uh, 16 bit data okay so move or not with 16 bit data with immediate data or you can also use ldr or not is equal to this so move one with immediate value of this 0 x 3 0 0 0 that is also one of the 16 bit data after that for multiplication mul r2 r1 or not mul r2 comma r1 comma r0 so this is going to multiply r1 is 16 bit r0 is 16 bit r1 is 16 bit so if you multiply these two content 16 bit contents of 3000 and 4000 etc it will give 16 bit 32 bit value that 32 bit you can store it in only one register destination register which is r2 so r2 is equal to okay it will contain product of two 16 bit numbers stored in r0 and r1 and answer is present in r2 now so you can check this you can stop here only and you can check the answer in r2 only or if you want you can store it in the memory location also so we declared one more area which is a result okay it is a data memory and you can do read as well as write so this is a product is a variable initially it is loaded with 0 0 okay now uh, you can pass this r2 uh, content to this location so first you have to get the address of this product okay so load load register r4 is equal to means address of this product so this and this should be same uh, okay case sensitive so product is this is also product so you have to get the address of this after that your answer is still in r2 so you can copy the content of r2 into another uh, way this address also okay store r2 content store r2 content in the address specified by r4 in r4 we have address of product so from r2 we are moving it to this so now you have to compile this program you have to check any syntax error is there not so build you have to click build so it is showing zero errors and zero warnings so now start debug you can click debug start debug or you can click this red button this also so it will show one warning that is the evolution mode so it will run with the code limit of less than 32 kilobyte click ok so you can see the pointer is showing here so it will execute step by step okay we are doing debugging and now it is going to execute this you can click step over here you can click debug step over okay step is f11 step over is f10 or you can short click uh, you can click here also you can press f10 button also so move or not with 400 you can observe here each time when you execute one on instruction which are the registers are going to affect is highlighted with the blue color so r0 is loaded with 16 bit so you neglect this upper 16 bit so you concentrate over and on the lower 16 bit which is 4000 next move r1 with the 3000 this is 3000 after that mul r2 comma r1 comma r0 r0 and r1 content are going to multiply answer will be stored in r2 so in r2 you are going to get the answer so this is 0 c 0 0 so whether it's correct or not you can check it out open calculator in programmer mode clear in hexadecimal mode you multiply 4000 into 3000 so answer is c 0 0 0 0 0 0 so left side you can observe 0 so same answer you can come getting in r2 also so you can stop you can show the answer here only if they ask to show in the memory location also then 
we declared one more error now so you have to get the address of prod so i don't know what is the address of this prod so if you give this load r4 is equal to address of this prod you can see the address is coming in the r4 so what is the address coming 0x 4 followed by 70 so now we have to open memory window 1 okay memory window 1 in the you can see observe here in the memory window 1 you type 0x 4 followed by 7 zeros 3 4 5 6 7 click so by default it will show unsigned care so it is uh, actually 8 bit okay now you click unsigned long so that it will show 32 bit so this is 8 bit this is uh, 16 bit int 16 bit this is um, long is 32 bit okay unsigned int you can see is also coming like this only only care is showing 8, 8 bits you can right click and you can change the i am changing this one to long unsigned long okay now you have to pass this answer from r2 register to the memory location also so you have to type 0x4 followed by 70 because in the load r4 is equal to address of the product is showing this address same address you have to type here after that store r2 content to that location so the answer will come to this position it came okay same answer is coming here also c000 here also 0c000 is coming so your answer is correct and you have to write one last line so otherwise it will repeat this one so better what you have to do is after the last statement you have to write it in you can add one more extra entrance okay stop branch to stop so that it will stop there only for infinite okay so i'll show you now see now if I give branch to label stop, branch to label stop, branch, this is B means branch to label stop. Stop is here only, label. So, infinite it will stay here only. So, you can see output here also, as well as in the register R2 also, you can see the. Thank you.